This special presentation of EWA 2018 was made possible by Evanix Air Guns, Umarex Arnsberg, Hudson USA, Daystate, Diana, FX Air Guns, Air Arms, JSB Predator International, and H&N Sport. And you guys know the best way to thank them. All right, folks, we are here with Michael Plodnik. Yes. Did I say that right? Yeah. Okay. Now, a lot of you don't know this, but JSB is actually a family-owned and run company in the Czech Republic. Yes. Right? Have been since the get-go. And Michael is, he's, he's actually part of the family, so he's one of the owners, but his specialty is he kind of oversees the product development, so the new, the new pellets we get, the things they dream up. He also oversees the machinery and the manufacturing, the right. development of the product, you know, as far as how it comes to be. So I've grabbed him to see if he'd maybe spend some time with us and tell us maybe a little bit um, about JSB's story. You know, how, okay. how they got started in the industry. I mean, mm -hmm. these guys all know that you know, it's quickly becoming, um, you know, I don't know if the standard is the right word, but it's a very desirable pellet, whether you're hunting or whether you're shooting in competition shooting when uh, uh, you know big money is on the line. And so you got a lot of fans out there, okay. and, and, and it's interesting for them to know a little bit about you guys and the story behind the JSB. So maybe a little bit about your company? Yeah, about the history. Help. Okay, so the history of the company goes back to 1991 mm -hmm. when Mr. Schulz, the former owner and the founder of the company, decided that he needs some good quality pellets. Mm -hmm. Because back in the, uh, in, during the communism time, there was, they, they weren't able to bring some quality pellets from the from the west. So he's a shooter. So yeah, so he was a former shooter. Okay. And he decided, okay, I'm I'm a good shooter, but I, I need a quality pellet. Okay. And I can't get them from the Soviet Union and, and these countries. And so he started to thinking about the machinery. Uh, he, uh, he put some uh, constructor to help him to build the machine. Mm -hmm. And uh, during the four or five years, they did all the plans and they built the first machine, which is still operating during that time, even though uh, the machine was quite, uh, or the machine was, you know. Like a, uh, maybe yes, old yeah, and yeah. run down? Yeah, so, so the parts was changed yeah, during the time, but yeah. the machine is still, still the same, yeah? Okay. And uh, then in 2008, he decided, okay, I'm old enough, so I just go Retired, so uh -huh. I, and he got some offer to sell the company okay. from abroad, and then Pavel was already working for his company, so okay. so he came to my to my family because Pavel married my sister. Okay, so Pavel. Pa Pavel is my brother-in-law. Okay, Pavel is your brother-in-law. I got yeah. it. It's family-owned yeah. business. All right, yeah. I'm with you. Yeah. So he came and he said, "Okay, here is the company, and there's a big future. Before, so let's let's go and make." to Joseph an offer and buy the company. So we did it in 2008, uh -huh. and at that time I joined the company. Okay, so, very so, good. So so we're speaking about Pavel, and they may not know who that is, but but if I had a chance to, to interview Pavel, and I'll, I'll put the link to that description, or to that video in the description down below in the uh, 2017 SHOT Show trade show in Las Vegas, and he's, he's, he's probably the owner of the company, yeah, yeah, or the, kind of the probably. president, the, you know, the, the director, and. And, and so that's the family. Yeah. So, all right. Sorry, go ahead. So, so when I joined the company, so I was responsible for all the technical stuff yeah, to, to build new machine, to increase the capacity, yeah, and, to, and especially to keep the quality of the pellets and make it even better. Yeah. Let me talk about that for a second. And these guys know my pain. And when I say my pain, I mean our pain. You know, your company, something we feel on the consumer end is as, as your pellets really picked up popularity in the, in the air gun world, um, you know, they, they'd go through dry spells where it was tough to get, you know, the 2.5 and the 30 calibers, and yeah. sometimes you run out of 22. And I know it's just because we're buying them like crazy, and it's tough for you guys to keep up. Has yeah. been tough. And that's something we've noticed over the last, you know, maybe two years, mm -hmm. but I've noticed over the last six months it's gotten a lot better. Mm -hmm. So is there something you're doing differently back in the Czech Republic to address all that demand that's been put on your company? Uh, did you open up a new a new manufacturing facility or make it larger? Well, well yeah, we built a new new house in, in our area, and we already installed three new machines. 
inside. And during the next two months, we will we will do all the all the parts of the new machines, mm -hmm. and we will start to assemble two more new machines, which should start operating somewhere in July. Great, so and everything will go. And 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 Michal says machine, but when he says machine, these are like these things are like the space shuttle. I mean, they're incredibly complicated, incredibly expensive and precise to manufacture the, actually machi the machine that makes the pellet. So when they say they've added two or three machines, that is huge because each of these machines, are you allowed to say, are you comfortable? How many pellets do they make per day? Well, you know, the, the machine, one, one machine consists of four pressing stages. Okay. And they are working against each other, so the presses are just perfectly set. Uh -huh. And one, one pressing stage can produce approximately 26,000 per day. So one machine is 1,000 per day. Yeah. Each Does that mean 24 hours? Every 24 hours, each machine produces about 1,000 pallets. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. but yeah, this, these are the machines that have four pressing stages, but we have also the two oldest one, which have six pressing stages. Mm -hmm. But at the moment, they had to make it clear, we have uh, 70 pressing stages. Mm -hmm. So at, the, at, at this moment, we are producing two, two million pallets per day. Two million pallets a day. Yeah. Now, I don't know if this has changed, but you guys have a quality control. Because what they notice yes. at home is the incredible consistency yeah. you get in a JSB pallet, which translates to us in repeatable accuracy mm -hmm. you know, across a, a, a broad spectrum of products and barrels and velocities. Mm -hmm. What do you guys do differently in the quality control department? That, that makes well, your, your pellets so damn, damn consistent. Well, I will start. I would like to start with the with the whole process with the production. Yeah, and I need to say that we are doing everything in our, in our house. Yeah, we are buying a raw lead, ninety nine ninety seven pure. Yeah, in the just lead, lead box uh, blocks. Sorry. Yeah. And we are melting it, and we are doing our own alloy. Yeah, we are putting certain amount of antimony into it. Okay. And then out of the Alloy, we are producing a lead wire, mm -hmm. and, and everything is controlled by our people. Yeah? So from the very beginning, it's everything under control. Because in the past, uh, we have some offers yeah, to, to buy the lead wire, yeah. but we, the first thing was that it was much more expensive uh -huh. that, that, than we are doing it. And the second thing is that we are not 100% sure that the wire will be every time the same. So you're actually so, doing so, the mixing yeah, so we are of doing the, the lead of the and the antimony right there yeah. under that one roof at JSB yeah. so that you're getting the consistency exactly mm -hmm. how you want it. Yeah, so, so that's the Very first cool. step. Uh, out of the lead wire, we are producing a semi-finished product, products, which are lead balls. And this is the most critical step for the weight consistency. Aha, so first it's a ball, yeah. and then it gets pre yeah, pressed and, into and the pellet. And then it's pressed into the pellet. Hey, can you answer yeah. a question and, for me? And everything right. is done in our house, so everything is under control, mm -hmm. and we can control each and every step during the production of, of the pellets from the lead block mm -hmm. until the finished pellet. Okay, I'm going to circle back to control, but I wanted to ask you okay. a question. Because, God, are we confused. Everyone has a different way of saying it. How do you say, is it Diablo? Is it Diabolo? What is the proper pronunciation? Well, you mean just the Diabolo? Yeah, Diabolo? Yeah, we are. In the Czech Republic, we are saying Diablo. Diablo in the Czech Republic, because we never know how to say it, and everyone's got their own version, but I just wanted to clear that back up. Yeah. So your pellets, they, they come off of the press, yeah. and then do you just put them in the tin and ship no, them, no. or is there some kind of layer of control and quality inspection? No, the, then it's going to the quality control department, okay. when there are approximately 30 ladies at the moment. 30. And each, each and every one has magnifying glass, uh -huh. pipette, or I don't know how to say it. This okay. one? Uh -huh. This? Oh, like a tweezers. Yeah. Okay. And, and each and every pellet are controlled. Wow. So You can see it when you get the end product, yeah. I and mean, you can really see it. They come across nice. Yeah, and after the quality control, it goes to the packing department when the pellets are packed into the tins, and then it's spread all around the world. So there's several layers there, if you heard what Mikhail said. First, they're controlling the mixture of the lead antimony themselves. Then they're very precisely weighing each pellet in the shape of a ball before it goes into the, mold, into the pressing mold. And then they have a, a group of 30 ladies with tweezers and magnifying glasses inspecting all these pellets before they're shipped. Yes. Shipped out to the world. How many countries do you ship to? Do you export to? 
Well, it's approximately around 80 at the moment. So oh, like all so, of them? Yeah, <laughs> well, no, not, not really all no, of them. No, but you but know what I mean. Anyone who, who yeah. enjoys guns. Wow, that's fantastic. Now, you know, they don't know it as well, but you guys, you're the manufacturer under that same roof for all of the Predator pellets and all of the GTO pellets. Yes. And you, um, you do it for other brands as well. I think we see you do for Air Arms. Yeah, Air Arms. And who else? Uh, we recognize the pellets in, in, in yeah, the different the, brands. There are some, uh, some other... Some species, European species, brands. Especially Ergun manufacturers, yeah. like FX. FX, and another one, yeah. FX, Air Arms, Ergun, and Cometa. And Cometa. And some, some for Day State. And for Day State as well. Yes. And you, what, about, what did I forget to ask? Oh, do you have anything new coming? Well, not really anything new, but during the last year, we weren't really happy with the performance of the monster pellets, mm -hmm. 177 in, and into two, so yep. we just redesigned the shape. Yeah, we don't like the bullet shape okay. for the pellets, so we just Let's show them. We just make the Diablo pellets. Yeah, it's, not, it's not in the picture yet, yeah, okay. so it's still the... So the shape of the monster is going yeah. to change. You're redesigning. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's already changed. It's changed. Just this typical okay. Change. I think that I can... All you, right. You have it here. Yeah, so that's the 177. Okay. Tower, so you can, you can see the difference. Yeah, hold, let's yeah. hold it up together. Yeah. So you can see the yeah. difference in the yeah. shape. So the weight is still the same, but the, the shape is different, and the performance of those pellets are much better than this one. Okay, the, so the, it'll, the accuracy, it'll yeah. fly straighter. Yeah. That's so, great. And that's yeah. just it, you yeah. know, for us, we love that you guys never rest on your laurels. Yeah. You're always trying to make the product better and better for us. Yeah. yeah, so that's it. And at the moment, what the project is, but I cannot show you the pellets. At the time, we are not really happy with the Ultrashock. Okay. So we just designed it, but at the moment, we are making, for the, we are waiting for the tools. Yeah, so the head will be different and all the shape. All right. Different, but we need to test it first and to be sure that it will work good until we will we will present it. All right, well, this Ultrashock, I, I've seen it before, but it's traditionally, when it comes to us in the States, it's in a small, yeah, yeah, clear yeah. plastic. Mm -hmm. But are these, do you know if this new design is going to come to the States as well? Well, the tool should be ready within two or three weeks. Okay. So until we, until that, we have to wait. And after it will come to the factory, so we will do the first testing, and if the accuracy will be good, okay. so then we will. Maybe this summer. Well, lucky. maybe lately autumn. Autumn, fall. Yeah. Maybe, maybe. Maybe, maybe yeah, because if the stars if, line if up. The performance will not be good, yeah. so we will need to change the design of the pellets again. So, gotcha. So we are not 100% sure. Thank you so but much. You, you spent a lot of time with us, Michal, okay. and we really appreciate it. I know back home they're great, very grateful for everything you do. So thank you and keep yeah. up the yeah, great thanks work. Thanks for coming. All yeah, right. Thank okay. you. And how do you say goodbye in, in the Czech Republic? Uh, Nasperano. Nas, 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 nas